uh, uh, by Corfish2. Um, how did your love for Pokemon start? That is a very cool question. Um, five likes. Um, my love for Pokemon started because I don't know. Um, that's a really interesting question. You know, I, I didn't prepare for any of the questions, so I'm a bit stuck right now. But um, I don't know. Pokemon just. It was way cool. I remember Digimon came out before Pokemon in New Zealand, I think. Yeah, and then, no wait, Pokemon came out, and then Digimon came out. But I just remember um, Pokemon as well. It's, it's just cool to like, you know, have like these balls where you can chuck at animals or monsters and catch them and own them and um, they obey you and stuff. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I just, I just thought that it was pretty fun. Um, next question. Um... Awesome. Oh, my 19 Charles. Oh, my man. I would shake your hand if you're there, but um, in real life, but you weren't. So here's a cyber handshake. Um, awesome. What is your other passion or other stuff that you collect? Uh, cool video. Thumbs up as always. <laughs> Cheers, bud. Um, my passions. I have three that I'll share with you guys. Um, here's one. Um, I actually play badminton. You know, it's like an Asian sport, or like, you know, a sport that Asians, oh, a lot of Asians dominate. Um, I have been playing badminton since I was eight because my mom thought I was fat and needed to lose weight. So she stuck me into an exercise, which was uh, badminton, and I've been playing ever since. And uh, which is pretty nice, you know, I gotta thank my mom, you know, thank you mom, I love you. But, um, yeah, I, I, I've been playing uh, badminton ever since. And I, I represented um, my region when I was in high school, and I'm uh, currently playing for my university, which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, next passion that I have, um, probably these. Uh, I like motorbiking, riding bikes a lot, which is uh, not what my parents like, well, specifically my mom and my sister, but uh, you know, you gotta. You gotta fight for what you like sometimes, and I know you know they're probably watching this video, but um, you know just just never give up what you dream of. Um, it's important, uh, cause they define who you are. So uh, anyway, last one. Um, my passion. Uh, basketball. Um, because I was in an American school, and uh, I got stuck to basketball. I never had any any uh, previous previous experience with basketball before I went to elementary school so um in American school in American system and then I went there and I started going crazy with basketball which is pretty cool um yeah uh, next question why <laughs> okay why are you better than primetime Pokemon at four likes and when it was by DVN9747 I personally don't think I'm better than primetime Pokemon so um yeah, I mean, he, he is, if you, if you guys, like, I can't even compare to him. He has freaking 23,000 uh, subscribers, which is an incredible amount, and I fully respect him. He is an epic, epic person. Um, he, he, I think he holds the records for the most booster, pa booster box opening on YouTube. Pretty awesome, and he has a mean-ass collection, and he is a um, fantastic guy in real life, actually. Um, I have him on Facebook, and he, he's, a, he's a really, really cool guy. Um, next question, do you think Ash's Pikachu will ever evolve? If so, do you, do you think that will be the end of the series? By the way, keep up the sexy ass videos bro, love your videos. And it is by the Jizo123 and has 4 likes. Um, you know, seriously, if, uh, if uh, Ash actually was walking on the streets right now and with his Pikachu, I would like freaking buy a thunderstone and chuck it at Pikachu and make it a roar, man. I mean, it's been way too long. I mean, Pikachu's... I, I would want Pikachu to evolve because, um... Raichu's badass and Pichu's cute. But, uh, Pikachu's in the middle. So, you know... I like, I like it. I like it when you're at, you know, two extremes. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. I would, I would definitely want Pikachu to evolve. Uh, series will end? I don't know. Maybe. I mean... I don't think I don't think Nintendo plans to end it anytime soon, cause uh, we all like Pokemon and they're we reaping in all the money, you know. 
Um, next question. Uh, do you think Ash and Misty are meant for each other? Personally, I think um, Misty was a very, very good start with... Well, I think Misty was the best chick character in Pokemon that that was uh, with that that uh, came along with Ash, along with you know compared to Dawn and May, I I rather I rather pick uh, Misty. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I would say they're meant for each other. <laughs> Why not? Um. Uh, so it was by the the panic knife. So next question. <laughs> uh, are you single? Uh, nah, just joking. Real question. What's your favorite Pokemon game or generation? And uh, since the first bit of the question was a joke, I'll just answer the second question. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon game or generation? I love uh, it's by I love anime anime one 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 zero zero. Um, my favorite Pokemon game has got to be Pokemon Yellow. Um, it was one of the first Game Boy games that I ever played in my whole life because my mom and my pa okay my parents being Asian say it's no Game Boy study and um. I would actually try to go to my friend's place to play on the Game Boy, and um, yeah, it's, it's just been good memories. I mean, I'll be like, ah, oh, because you awesome, you're following my back, and um, have fun. You know, it was the first series, the first generation that I loved the most, definitely. Uh, next question: What was your first sexy car you pulled, and what sexy set was it from? Again, this video with the uh, fingerling waveling. Um, same. Uh, so um, same answer as the. That's the answer that I gave to uh, my, my good friend, uh, Mr. Pokemon X. And uh, last question, because we're running out of time. Um, yeah, this this video will probably be in two parts. Um, last question. It was a long message by um, Banana Surfer. Let me check out his full name. Yeah, Banana, Banana Surfer 14. So, uh, hey bro, it's the Banana Surfer here. I have a really important question to ask that I'm sure you are occasionally faced with. I need an honest answer. Why do you tell people when they tell you or imply that you are too old for Pokemon cards and that you're wasting your money with them? Please respond to me as soon as you get the chance. I'm sure I've told you before, but it will really mean a lot. Thanks, bro. Can't wait for your next video. Um, okay, bro. Uh, honest question. Um, if, uh, if, you, if you like collecting Pokemon cards, I mean, why not? Um, People, you know, other people collect other stuff and uh, crazy stuff as well. Like some people collect metal pieces or like wood carvings, necklaces, animal bones, you know, all these random stuff. And Pokemon is pretty normal, you know. And um, what do you tell people when they say, I'm too old? I'll say, up your ass because that's my, that's my business, not you, man. Um, you're never too old for anything that you like. Um... Yeah, seriously, if you, if you, you know, don't, 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 don't bow down to the peer pressure or the family pressure, um, you know, no matter, no matter what, man, just, just keep collecting, don't give up, um, yeah, just, you're, you're never wasting money, as long as you love it, it's not a waste of money, as long as you work hard for it and you spend on it, it's not a waste of, not, nothing's ever a waste of money as long as you love it, um, so, uh, bro, don't worry about what other people say. Uh, Pokemon is cool, uh, and that's what that's what I've been trying to tell the whole world lately um, from these videos. And um, yeah, you're never too old for them. So uh, yeah, I think we're running really, really um, tired with time. So I'll probably check this video in two halves. So uh, thanks guys for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. And I uh, hope this answers some of your questions. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you and see you.